Hello and welcome. Today we're going to diverge a little bit. In this Sudoku Primer video, I'm going to prove that Sudoku does not require math skills. Now, Sudoku with numbers is by far the most common way of doing Sudoku, but Sudoku doesn't require numbers and, it, and therefore it doesn't require math. Now if you don't quite understand what I mean, I think it'll make sense to you as we go along. Now you can use any characters you want in a Sudoku puzzle. Um, in this one I'm using letters instead of numbers. You can use letters, numbers, pictures. You can have nine unique pictures. You can use colors, uh, nine different colors really anything as long as you have nine unique items. So we're going to use letters in this one and uh, I'm going to solve this puzzle and it'll kind of show you that you really don't need math skills in order to solve a Sudoku puzzle. But this one also, this puzzle also has a secret message to it. You notice down here at the bottom we've got all the letters, the nine letters that we're using for this puzzle. And right up here at the top we've got a clue. I would love to go to... Now that's a clue to the secret message that we're going to solve. We have to solve the puzzle to get the... to see the secret message. Now this is an easy puzzle. Um, I chose an easy one because when you're... when you haven't uh, solved Sudoku puzzles with something other than numbers, it's a little bit harder because when we solve Sudoku puzzles we're so used to just um, thinking in our head one through nine. Uh, but when we use something else it takes a little bit more concentration. So anyway, let's get started. I'm gonna just go through the puzzle um, and uh, Remember that there's a secret message. Here, here are the nine letters. I put the nine letters on the bottom so that we can kind of walk through them. With numbers, we don't need to do that. We just think one through nine in our head. Okay, and see if you can see the, the secret message in the puzzle as we solve it. Okay, so I'm just going to go through sections just like I do with numbers. We'll start with I. I there, so I, 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 I. Okay, there's an I. Okay, now an O. 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 So one of these is an O. O. Oh, there's an O. As you can see, this is a pretty easy puzzle. There you go, one of those is an O. Okay, now that we got this O, we know this is an O right here. Let's do U now. A U here and a U here. A U there. A U, oh, there's a U there and a U there. So that's a U. Okay. U, 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 okay, there's a U there, U, so that's a U, a U there, okay, W, 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 so that's a W right there. You see, we don't need to use math on this um, to solve this. We just need to uh, find individual characters and where they need to go. So one of these is a W right there. Okay, W, 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 W. Okay, there's a W there, so that's a W right there. Okay. 
you know, let's look for P's now. You got a P here and a P here. One of those is a P. None of those. One of these is a P. P. Okay. P. P. Okay, we got ghost P's there. We'll remember that. P. And there's a. One of these is a P. So we have ghost P's here and ghost P's here. So we know that's a P right there. Okay. P. Let's go to M. See M. Okay, so one of those. So an M there and an M there. So we know that's a M right there. Okay, an M M. So that's an M. M here, so one of these is an M, and there's an M there already. Okay. M -M. So that's an M. We got an M M there, so this is an M. <clears throat> I have to kind of think it through because, you know, I'm used to numbers. There's an M right there. Okay. How about an R? So one of these is an R. So we got an R there. So one of these is an R. There's an R there. Okay. Let's see. R. R. So ghost R's here. So R R R. Can't do that. Let's see. R R. R. R, R, R. <coughs> R there. So we know one of these is an R. So I think we can fill in this one right here. Because we've got ghost R's here. And so therefore that's an R. Okay. Let's see. Let's go to T. T, T, T. And there's a T there. T there, so T T T. So that's a T. Okay, and T. That's a T right there. And then this is a T right here. Okay, now H. We've only got one letter left here in this box. And again, if we knew the if these were numbers, we could find it real easy, but we need to look for the letter I O U. Okay, that's an O, because we got a W P M R T H. W P M R T H. Okay. So I'll put an O there. Let's see, what are we missing here? Let's see, I O U W P M R T Oh, it's an H, okay. H, H, H. O. Let's see. That's got to be an O also there. Okay, so one of these is an O. Let's see what two number, two letters we're missing here in this column and in this column. Let's see. I, O, U. So there's an O missing here. P. Oh, there's a P missing also. Yeah, okay, so O and P twins right there. And this one is. Let's see, I O U are there. W P M R T H. R R's missing and H is missing. So can't solve those yet. R and H. Let's look at this column here and see if we can solve that one. I O U W 
P M R D H. So P, R, and H are missing. See, this one's also missing. This box is also missing P, R, and H. There's an R, so that's a P and an H. There's a P, so that's an R or an H. So I don't think we can do that one. Let's look at this column right here. I, O, U, W is missing. P is there. M is there. R, T, A, W, and H are missing. Okay, there's a W, so that's an H. And that's a W. Okay. Let's look at this top row right here. I, O, U, W, P, M is missing. R is missing. D and H. M, R, and H are missing. There's an M, so R, H. There's an R, so M, H. <coughs> Okay, here's a here's a row with only one letter missing. Let's look at that one. I think it's an H. Yeah, I don't see an H there, so put in an H there. <coughs> As you can see, it's a little bit harder with letters when you're not used to them. Let's look at. Uh, let's see, what are we missing here? We got two letters missing here. I O U W. P, M, R, D, H, P, and R. Okay, so we know this one, um, because these are P and R. I, O, I, O, U, W, P, M, R, D, H. Okay, that's an H right there. Okay, let's look at this column right here. We're only missing one letter. Looks like an R. Yeah, okay, that's an R. Okay, and now we've only got two letters missing here. Let's see, I O U are in there. W P M R T H. So P and M. There's an M, so that's a P right there. And that's an M. Let's see. Let's see what's missing here again. Uh, let's just look at this one right here. Uh, I O U W. Oh, there's W missing, so that's right there. All right. Let's see what's missing in here. I O U are there. W P M R T and H. R and H. <clears throat> I don't, you can't solve those right now. Okay. Let's look right here. I is missing. O U W P M R T H. I and R are missing. There's an R, so that's an I. And there's an R. And by the way, um, I can see the secret message already. Uh, I don't know if you can. I won't say anything right now. I'll let you keep looking for it. But, uh, and I'll just keep filling in letters. Okay, we had R's there, so we know that's an R. What was missing here? W, P, M, R, D. Okay, an H was missing. Okay. And, uh, <coughs> Let's see what's missing on in this box right here. I O U W P M R T H W P and H. There's a W W, so that's a W. And then P and H. Now these must be P and H also, yeah. And there's let's see. P and H, P and H. Uh, what are 
what are these again? UIO. There's an O and a P missing here. We still can't solve those. I have a hard time remembering um, letters because I'm so used to numbers. Uh, let's look at this row right here. There's I and O missing. U W P M R D H I O and P. <clears throat> There's an I and an O right there. So that's a P. <clears throat> Sorry, I had to get a drink there. Okay, now we got O and P here, so there's a P there. So O and P. And then we got a P and a P there, so that's a P. Um, and then an H is missing there. Okay, so we're getting close here. What do we have here missing? I and O. Let's see, I, O, and I, O, and H. There's an H and an I, so that's an O. That's an H, because we have an I and an O there, and so that's an I. Okay, and what are we missing here again? I, O, U, W, P, M, R, P and R. And there's a P right there, so that's a P and R. I hope you've seen the secret message already. Um, I'll just finish this up and then we'll talk about the secret message here. What's missing here? Yeah, um, U, I O U. No, there's a U there. I O U W P M R T H R and H. There's an H. That's an R and that's an H. Okay. So that is. Sudoku with letters and uh, hopefully you can see that really all you have to do is scan through all the letters as you're trying to solve the puzzle. You don't have to do any kind of mathematical calculations or anything to do Sudoku. And uh, the secret message uh, I would love to go to and the secret message is here on row 3 right there. Prom with you. So this is something that maybe high school kids could um, do to invite a date uh, to prom with them. Um, and of course you could, you could do this with any Sudoku puzzle. You could make any kind of secret message and uh, make it so you have to solve it in order to uh, get the message. Well, I hope you like this little diversion. Um, and I hope it helped you understand um, that you know math isn't required for Sudoku. I think a lot of people are afraid that that's true, but I think if you've if you've done any number of Sudoku puzzles, um, you probably figure out pretty quickly that it doesn't require math skills to do them. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.